Welcome guys, watching Rivals of Fem, and this is the FIFA 19 Ultimate Team Series. And today we're going to do one of the SPC squad building challenges. And the one I caught my eye on, I think it's going to be really, really beneficial for our English team. It's definitely the Marcus Alonso one. It's an 84 rated, it's a left back. You don't get many left backs of that sort of rating, do you? Particularly in the Premier League. Not to mention it's the road to the final from the Europa League, and you expect chance to get quite far. So every time you progress to the next round, his stats will go up. So he should, I mean, if he gets through to the final, I think potential at seven rounds, I think they say it is. So potentially get to 90. If you get to, yeah, I think if they win, they get to 91 possibly. So that's fantastic, right? The only problem is you've got to build two teams, and these are the requirements. So you've got the Spanish team, so we need uh, five players that, uh, that have uh, you know, Spanish nationality, three Champions League rare players, so not the common ones, the rare ones. Uh, you can only have a maximum of three players from any one league. The team overall rating has to be at 84, and the chemistry has to be at 85. For the Chelsea, you need two Team of the Week players. Whatever rating, it doesn't really matter, any nationality. He needs to have two Chelsea players, so that's the link there for him. Uh, Premier League players, five P Premier League players need to be in there. and needs to be an overall team rating 84 and the chemistry 80. So I had to think about this and how we're going to sort of do this, right? And let's get the first and foremost, let's get the players in. So, um, let's have a quick look. So, we, right, so we're getting to Premier League, let's go Chelsea then. So this is what we've got for Chelsea players, right? Jorginho is going to go up top. Who should we have here then? All right, Moratti's going up there as well. And I put David Luiz. Right, the thing you got to consider here is um, <clears throat> you need to have high rated players because they need to hit that 84 overall rating. Uh, and the chemistry as well, so you can't just have like um, ad hoc sort of any sort of sporadic sort of players. So, what can we do in terms of there then? So, right, so in net, let's have a look what we've got in net. Right, so it doesn't, doesn't need to be this now. Looking at Premier League there, see what we've kind of got. So, one I'm, I'm thinking of here is. Peter Schmeichel. So we were definitely going on Lloris because we just got him, aren't we? So we've got Peter Schmeichel in there. So what we could do is stick him in there. He has a, a, a sort of link there with him, don't he? Um, we need Team of the Week players. So let's have a look at sort of what specials we've got here then. So specials, it could be anyone. It doesn't have to be there. So the Team of the Week players, right? Susu's an integral part of our team. So Chilwell can go in there. And he's going to be horrible to put in here because of his, um, his rating. Right, okay, so, oh, and now Savage just wrote to the final. So we've only got Sancho, haven't we? So that looks like the best of the bad bunch, doesn't it? So we'll stick him in there as well. Um, in terms of how we're going to bring this one up, right. So I have thought about this one, and I'm willing to sacrifice Fernandinho. I think we need to at this stage, because um, we need high-rated players, so and it's definitely going to be Kante. We could sell him, but I think we'd probably only get about 20,000 now in, in the current market, won't we? So it seems pretty pointless. Between him and Matic, I just tend to like Matic. I think Fernandinho is like a poor man's Kante on this, isn't it? So I think it makes sense to go with um, uh, Fernandinho here. Now alongside him, uh, we're going to go Mkhitaryan. I bought this guy in. I bought him just cheap. Let's quickly go here. He's from Arsenal, isn't it? Mkhitaryan. So how much did I buy him for? 3,100, so ideally perfect, just fits in there. I had to change chemistry, uh, his position from attacking midfielder to a central midfielder. Um, now here what we're going to do is, uh, again, because we need to get the uh, sort of team overall attribute, uh, sorry, rating up, I'm going to go with company. And the reason I'm going to do this is because I just bought Vertonghen, so it, it's a natural replacement for him, as you can see. It's a lot of work to go. The thing that's going against here is our team of the week players are 79 and 81s, which is pretty terrible. I've got no other option really, have we? Apart from what, a 75 rated player. So now what we need to do here, we need to pick someone up here. Um, and the, what, what I'm thinking about here is we're going to go back to Arsenal. It's going to be Lacazette, and the only way I'm going to do this is I've made him a central midfielder. I've had to change his, his position from a striker to a central midfielder. At this point, I'd... Uh, I bought him, so how much did I buy him for? I oh, know I didn't, it was, was tra untradeable. I th yeah, that were it. No, he's tradeable. How much did I buy him for then? I must have won him. I did buy him then, I won him. Uh, Jorginho I bought, so I bought him for 7,000. So when I bought him, I didn't have uh, Lacassette then, I'm still building up on it. I probably should have thought this a little bit further, uh, a little bit more through, I think, rather than doing it straight, just going straight into it and buying Jorginho. So I could have put him there and Lacassette up top and it worked out just as well, wouldn't it, I imagine? Right, so we're 82 rated, chemistry in 80. Now the problem here, guys, is fullbacks don't tend to be high rated unless they're the ones that you want to keep. So what I'm thinking of doing is, what I'm going with, I'm definitely going with... Um, 
high rate of centre back that we don't want. So let's have a look. Um, go to position. Centre backs, it's going to be the easiest one to fit in, isn't it? There. And let's have a look. Savage, can he go in there? Right, so we don't achieve it. We need 84, so we need to go a little bit higher, don't we? So let's have a quick look again. Who do we get? Um, De Vrij, I'm keeping them for the Spanish team. So let's De Vrij. So there we are, guys. So that's achieved that one. Perfect. Fantastic. So I think what we'll, go, we'll do is we can go ahead and submit this one. That's that team sorted. So our reward then. So we get a pack, a Jumbo Rare Players pack. And I think at one of these, where I got the... Um, we'll get back to that one. We'll do that at the end. Um, we'll do it at the end of the... Yeah, we'll do it at the end. Um, so we'll get back to that one. We're going to finish this off first, though, uh, so we can do them simultaneously. So the next one is the Spanish team. Um, so, right, so we need five Spanish players. So what we're going with, Rodrigo. We keep getting him. He keeps coming up. Can't get rid of the guy. So he's definitely going in there. Where is he? I think he may be untradeable. Right, so let's have a look at it. Let's get the national down to Spanish. Right, so here we go. Rodrigo. Cannot get rid of him to save our lives, can we? So he's going in there. Um, in terms of what else have we got? So right midfield position, Vasquez, Lucas Vasquez. I bought this guy 2,800 bargain just to fit into there. So he's going there on the right hand side. Um, what are we doing? Oh, I'm going, going crazy. So we we'll get onto the left winger now. And for the left wing, Marco Asensio. Right, so another one I bought. 19,250, so it was not cheap, but to be honest, we need an 85 rated player, we need some high rated players to get the camp, uh, sorry, the team rating up, because it has to be an overall rating 84, so that's been the problem with this one more so than anything, so moving on from that then, so let's see what else we've got then in this team, so um, I want, to, I did buy, um, let's have a look, where is it, uh, central midfielder, from Germany, Javi Martinez. So this is one that I brought in. I bought him for, let's have a quick look see how much I bought him for. 4,700. So it's a cheap option the fee there, guys. Spanish fits into there as well. Um, we also need to start looking at the special players as well, don't we? The, the rare Champions League ones. So for that, right, I'm just going to quickly reset that one. Let's have a look. Hang on. Nope. Not any, not any position so we can see all of them that we've actually got. So, again, guys, this is Champions League rare. So, for example, um, yeah, they're rare. I think most of them are rare, aren't they? See, he's common. UA for Champions League common player. But what we need are these rare ones. So, I've had to buy a few of them. So, I spent £19,000 on this guy. So, he's fitting in there. Um, NATO, 24250 So, I put some coins in on this one, to be honest. I've never played. never going to play him. Um, so, he's going in the team as well. So he's fitting in there. And Farcio, yeah, I'm going to stick on left hand side as a full back. Just to fit him in. And it's high rated. And they're all Champions League rare players. You can see you saw Ways were. Was, was, whatever his name is, he was rare. Neto's rare. There you go. They're all rare players. That's what you want for that sort of position. So now we're going into Spanish League. So um, we want. So, right, what we're we going to do here? We're going to go goals and we're going to go centre backs. The two that I've got in mind here, I mentioned in the last one, didn't I? Um, Jimenez and Savage. So there you go. So they're fitting at the centre back. So this is how we're looking at the minute. We're 81 rated, currently two players left to go. So we're going to play again. We're going to go centre back. So I'm going to stick Nacho there on right hand side. Again, helps build up the team rating. Um, and then through the centre, we're going to go Illa Remendi. I think I bought him as well, I believe. There he is. So there you go. So um, we just need to switch them two around there. 86 rated. So Illa Mendy, I bought him for 8,100. So again, he's a fairly cheap option if you're looking for someone. A central midfielder who's Spanish. Again, we could improve, improve the chemistry by changing from a, a defensive midfielder to, um, a, well, from a CM to a defensive midfielder. So it fits into that position. But we don't need to. We've, we've achieved it already, haven't we? So there you go. So there you go, guys. I mean, there's a few options there. A few were expensive. We didn't really have much of a choice, so we just sort of like went along with that one. So we'll submit this one and progress and see what we get then. So here we go. So we've got our, our well, that's our mega pack. <coughs> so that's the Marcus Alonso one done, guys. So we'll, I think we get to see the walkout now, don't we? So it looks like a decent rate. We'll have a quick look at it in a minute, but let's just witness the walkout. 
Let's let's sit back, take it in. Here we go. Uh, we know who it is. Let's see if we walk out. Do we get the smoke? The smoke machines are on. 84 8 at left back from Chelsea. Fits into our Premier League team. Fantastic. Come down. Palmer kit. There you go. You wait for Europa League road to the final. So, again, improves his overall rating will increase every single time they progress into the next round. So, a quick look at his stats, shall we? Can we have a quick look? Yes, we can do. So, stats wise, looks very good for you know defensive attributes for a defender. Passing is very good as well. Short passing 84, uh, crossing 87, long passing 75, shot power 87. So we can hit it, although he's finishing 70, so not the greatest from close range, but 80 from long range. So I expect him to have a few cracks, to be honest. Um, we'll send him to the club. Let's have a look at our packs as well that we got then. So that's that for that one. Um, like I said, let's go into packs, have a look at our store, and see what we've got if, if it responds. So here we go. So. Jumbo rare players. What should we go for first? We'll get this one out of the way. We're going to make a pack out of the way. Let's see what this brings us. And look at fortune. We've had a little bit of fortune so far. We got Kante the other day, didn't we? Uh, we got uh, Loris as well. Oh, God, it's terrible, isn't it? Absolutely terrible. Wow. That's the best rare we get. Man, it's not quite the Kante level, is it? Any, is any other surprises in here? Let's have a quick look. I, I very much doubt it, guys. Let's be honest. No, let's, let's see. I mean, he's not that bad, but apart from that, there's nothing much else going on in there. Juventus badge, we could use that, but I don't think we need it. I don't think it really matters in the slightest, does it? What we'll do here, I'll just send them up to the transfer list for the time being. And let's go into Jumbo Rare Players Pack. Here we go. It's got to be better than that last one, hasn't it? Anything's going to be better than that, surely. It's a placard. It's not Team of the Week. I'd like Team of the Week. It's going to be gone. Oh. That's a meter. Uh, oh no, Sergio Roberto, that's not bad, is it? It's not the worst, we don't really fit into what we've got. Maybe we can look to sell him quite possibly. I don't know, we'll have a look. See how much he's worth. I don't think it's worth much though, is it? A quick look. Savage again, we'll just sacrifice Savage and we'll get him back. So let's have a look, can we compare prices? Let's have a look, oh, yeah, it's not going for much at all, is it? My 6,000 is better than no, isn't it? Okay. Although, we'll probably just save him in case we need him for another, um, you know, SBC at some point, I don't know, we'll have a look. Apart from that, there's nothing special there at all, is there? It's, it's a lot of duplicates as well. We'll send them all to the transfer list. There we go, second guys, there we go. Right, so that's that's it for today's episode. That's that's the SBC done. Um, not too bad, I mean, it'd have been better if we had a right back that fitted into our system. Uh, although I, th I think we're doing alright, aren't we? I mean, you've got Walker in Premier League 1. Um, probably do we want in uh, Italian league, but apart from that, you know, we'll, we'll crack on with it. We'll see how, see how we get. Next ones are going to be coming up are probably now going to be division rivals in the next episode. So if you're new to the channel, guys, subscribe. Just regular content coming out. We've got daily content coming out for FIFA. If you enjoyed today's episode, smash that like button, show some support. Let me know you got on with your SBCs. Um, you know, any other ones? I mean, the big one is the Obama Yang, but I think it's going to take a lot of effort to get him into. Um, but we've got, we've got um, a month to try and get to there, haven't we? So we'll maybe see how we'll go with that. Maybe for end of month. Maybe have a look at that one then, I guess, eh, guys? Um, if you want to say hi, drop in a comment section. I'll get back to you. And hopefully I'll see you next episode. Thanks for watching, guys.